Jack, today is market day. Get to town and sell Capricornia's milk. We need the money to pay the landlord and buy supplies. But, Mother, Capricornia didn't give any milk today. No milk. What are you saying? I milked her this morning, and she was dry. Why make the trip? You sound relieved. Do you not understand that Capricornia's milk gives us money to pay the landlord? Go one more time with the pail, and pull harder. Mother, please, believe me, I've done that. And Jill has tried, too, with no results. Then what are we to do? What other source of revenue would guarantee enough income to support us? There are other ways. When Father was alive, he came up with some good ideas. Do you mean when he concocted a circus of clever critters that created chaotic circumstances when a cluster of cantankerous cats crashed the crates and consumed the critters? Another decided failure. No, that wasn't it. It was the parade of puffy puppets with pugilist Puccinello as the protagonist, all performed with punctuated perfection. Jack, there was no money from that. You're just like your father and his brother Olaf with their get-rich-quick schemes. No more silly ideas. We must sell Capricornia. Sell so Corny? But Jill and I adore her. There must be another way. Jack, Capricornia isn't the first dry goat we sold. Go and sell her at the market and be clever with the price. Bring back her young equivalent or something else of great worth. I trust you, Jack. Now don't be fooled. Be gone with you and use good sense. Jill, I'm going to town to sell Capricornia. Want to come along with me? Sell Capricornia? Oh, you can't. Mother's made the decision. I've got to get going. I'll catch up with you later. There's still some housework to finish. Jack, go out the back door and through the woods. It's faster. <sighs> okay, Mother. Where are we going, Jack? It's better you don't know right now, Corny. Got to get to the market and sell Corny for a good price. Get enough to pay the rent and get back before dinner. I hope I can do this. I don't like the sound of this. What are you talking about? <sighs> it's better you don't know that either, Corny. That's a nice looking goat. Where are you headed with that dough? I'm going to the market to sell good old Capricornia. <laughs> Capricornia? That's her name? Yes, and we don't expect to get too much for her. She's a little old. A little old? I'm not old. I'm just mature. Well, I'm not a dairyman, but Capricornia could graze my fields and keep my weeds and such under control. In fact, I was on my way to the market to get a goat for just that task. But if we could make a sale here and now, it would save us both a lot of traveling time. You know the market is a good piece away. I know it's a distance. Ten miles, maybe? What is your offer? I'll give you fifty in gold. That's what's in my bag. Will you take that? I don't see why not. It sounds like a fair price for an aging doe. Pretty sure it won't get better in town. It's a deal. Okay, here she is. She's all yours. Aging doe, indeed. I still have a lot of life left in me. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. I can spend my days eating my fill, and no icy fingers trying to milk me in the wee small hours in the morning. It's goodbye, Jack, and lead on, Mr. Farmer. Let's go, goat. Goat! I have a name, and it's Capricornia, not goat. It looks like we'll have to straighten a few things out. Ow! And the lesson starts right now. Goodbye, Corny. Jill and I will miss you. Goodbye. 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 Psst, psst. Hey, bub, bub, over here. Who are you? I'm Bruno. I overheard you only got 50 in gold for that goat. 50 in gold is a good price for an old goat. No, no, you let that goat go too cheaply. 50 in gold for a doe like that? It's good I happened along. You've been bamboozled. 
It's too late. The farmer and I made a deal, and he left with Capricornia. Not so fast. What if I told you I could increase the value of that bag of gold tenfold? What would you say to that? I'd say, how can you do that? My boy, it's very simple, and the answer is this. A sack of magic beans. And for your bag of gold, they're yours. Magic beans? What's magic about them? Plant these beans when you get home, my boy, and tomorrow morning there will be a beanstalk in your yard that reaches through the clouds. Climb that beanstalk and look for the goose that lays golden eggs. Golden eggs? You heard me. Golden eggs and wealth tenfold. Golden eggs? Wealth tenfold? Mother wanted me to be clever and bring back something of great worth. It's a deal. Let's swap. Here's the gold. And here are the beans. A bag of beans for a bag of gold? What a deal! A bag of gold for a bag of beans? What a deal! Here I am. Where's Corny? Jill, oh Jill, we've had wonderful luck. I sold Corny to a passing farmer for 50 in gold. That's a sack of gold? Well, not exactly. Not exactly. What does that mean, not exactly? I'll explain on the way home. Mother will be so proud. We'll see. Mother! Oh, Mother! Mother, we're home! Jack has a surprise! A surprise? What would it be? Mother, Jill and I had great luck. Great luck? Tell me. I sold Capricornia for 50 in gold and... Jack, that's wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Open the sack and let's take a look. But, Mother, there's more to the story. What are these? These aren't 50 pieces of gold. This is nothing but a bag of beans. I know. I was trying to tell you that I bought them with the 50 pieces of gold I got for Corny. But they're not just any beans, Mother. They're magic beans. Magic beans? What's magic about them? And who sold them to you? Bruno. He said his name was Bruno. He says if we plant them today, tomorrow we'll have a beanstalk that will reach through the clouds. I'm to climb the beanstalk and find a goose that lays golden eggs. We'll never want for money again. We can move to the city and live in a fancy house just like Uncle Olaf always wanted to do. If there's a beanstalk tomorrow, you're not climbing it. Your Uncle Olaf climbed a beanstalk and we never saw him again. I'm throwing these beans out. But, Mother! Jack, you have some explaining to do. Magic beans, beanstalks to the sky, geese that lay golden eggs. You believe someone you've never met before? What were you thinking? Now what are we going to do? How are we going to support ourselves? You and Jill are going to have to spend the rest of your days walking up the hill to fetch pails of spring water to sell to the villagers to put bread on our table. Good night. <sighs> Good night, Mother. What's all the commotion? Hey, what's this? You're right. I think this is the beanstalk. Wow, it must be. 
It doesn't look like any beanstalk I've ever seen before. I can't see the top. So Bruno was telling the truth. I wonder if he was telling the truth about the golden eggs, too. Can you climb it, Jack? Can you? <laughs> yes, I can. There are lots of branches to climb on. Oh, Jack, do you think there really is treasure up there, way up there? There's only one way to find out, Jill, and that's to climb this beanstalk. Beanstalk? Jack Spriggins, don't you climb any beanstalks. I told you, your Uncle Olaf climbed a beanstalk and we never saw him again. I have to try to get the golden eggs. Oh, he never listens. He's just like his father. Climb, Jack, climb. What's this? Oh no, another beanstalk. And what's all that crackling? Did I make it? Am I here? And this time it's a little boy on it. Oh no, nothing but cloud tops in all directions. I wonder what will happen if I let go of the beanstalk. I wouldn't do that if I were you. At least not until you learn how to walk on clouds. Oh, who are you? Just one of the locals. And how about you? Who are you anyway? And where do you come from? I'm Jack. I live on a farm in Hertfordshire with my sister and mother. Hertfordshire? You're miles above Hertfordshire. Wow, it seems like I've been climbing for days. Days? Why did you ever take such a chance climbing the beanstalk that leads to who knows where? There's supposed to be a goose that lives at the top of this beanstalk. Well, there must be lots of geese where you come from. Why come up here for a goose? This goose is special. It lays golden eggs. Oh, you must be talking about Goldie. She belongs to a mean, greedy old man who's got her locked up in one of the turrets of that house over yonder. I'm too afraid to let go and look around. Is it far away? Is it safe to walk on the clouds? Can't say. I mostly sit on the clouds when I'm not flying. But you're not going anywhere if you don't let go of that beanstalk. Muster up your courage, Jack, and let go of that beanstalk. Okay. Here goes. One step at a time. Look! The clouds are solid. I can jump and bounce around on them. Good for you, Jack. Since it's a distance to Goldie's house and bouncing from cloud to cloud could be tiring after your long climb, how about if you jump on my back and I give you a ride? Okay, here I come. Oh, you're not as light as I thought you would be. Hang on tight, here we go. This is it, Jack. This is where Goldie lives. The mean old man lives downstairs and Goldie lives up in the turret. I'll fly by the window so you can look in and see if anyone is there. If the coast is clear, I'll drop you off on the balcony. A door into the tower is at the end. I don't see anybody. I think you can land. My pleasure. <sighs> Thanks for the lift and wish me luck. Good luck. Goodbye. I think I heard something. What was it? There's nothing on the balcony.
And what was that noise? Hello? Is anybody there? Goldie, I'm coming up. Get on your nest and lay another egg. I sure hope this one is gold. Well, what are you waiting for? Get started. I need another gold egg. I'm sorry, but there's nothing. I've got nothing. Try harder. Please don't pressure me. I can't lay with all this stress. Hey, I think I laid something. That's no golden egg. It's another lead one. I'm no alchemist. I can't turn lead into gold. This egg is worthless. Try again. Look, I'm sorry. I can't. There are no more eggs. Try the end of the rainbow again. Maybe you'll have luck there. Bah! There's no gold there either. The leprechauns have stopped filling the pots. Why do you need more gold anyway? What would you do with it? I could travel from cloud to cloud in style. Maybe in something bigger and shinier. I'd buy a bigger mansion on a fancier cloud. I'd move to Cloud Nine. That's where all the big shots live. <sighs> if I lived on Cloud Nine, I'd be happy. I'm sure of it. Why would that make you happy? You just want even more. There would be no end to it. There was nothing wrong with the house you built when you came here. Look how you've changed it. It's grandiose with its towers and rose window. The greed has changed you and changed me. I can't lay golden eggs any more. I want what I want, and I'll do what it takes to get it, whatever the cost. But it's affecting everyone around you. Look how your appearance has changed. You're stooped and hairy, and even growing a tail. You're no longer the happy man you once were. <sighs> it's true. I'm not happy. I was happy when I came here. I'm not happy any more. What can I do? What will make me happy again? Return to your friends and family. It's friends and family that make us happy, not all this. I become ugly and callous. No one would want me down there anymore. I'd be scared to return. Besides, there's no way back. The beanstalk is gone. There are no second chances. No, I will never go back. Never. <gasps> Please think about it. Uh, maybe Goldie is right. <sighs> I'm tired. I think I'll take a nap and sleep on it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Well, you did. And again, I ask, who are you? My name is Jack Spriggins. Are you Goldie? Yes, I'm Goldie. Who told you my name? A bird I met on a cloud miles to the west. When I asked him where to find the goose that lays golden eggs, he gave me a ride over here. Jack, there are no more golden eggs. The wealth my eggs supplied destroyed my owner with avarice. He's transformed from the fine man you see in this portrait into something hideous. As he deteriorated, so did my ability to lay golden eggs. Your arrival here is useless. Return now while you can. Are there other geese that lay golden eggs? No, just me. How is it that you lay golden eggs anyway? It's a family peculiarity. My grandmother was the first blessed, or cursed, with the talent. She belonged to a bean farmer, and with the help of grandmother's golden eggs, the farmer developed an extraordinary skill. He could grow bean stalks miles long. One stalk supplied an entire village with beans for a year. How did she end up here in the clouds? 
The farmer had an evil son whose ideas for the beanstalks were not so philanthropic. Instead of rooting them through town so all could feed, he pushed the stalks up through the clouds to where my grandmother quickly made her escape. Then what happened? Rather than search the skies in hopes of retrieving her, the evil man simply sold the beans to strangers with promises of quick wealth when they found the goose that laid the golden eggs. But that was your grandmother. How about you? It was soon discovered that one goose from each generation possessed the gift. Unknown to my master, I was that goose. I was once able to lay golden eggs for the kind man, but since his passage into his present wretched state, my ability is gone. <sighs> he is awakened from his nap already. He, he's coming upstairs. Quick, hide on the balcony. I should have gone back down that beanstalk when I had a chance. Who knew it would wither the longer I stayed up here? And now it's gone. <sighs> Maybe a ball game will cheer me up. It's a tie score, two outs, bottom of the ninth. Bases are full. The thunderclaps are up. Cumulus is at the plate with a full count. Nimbus sets. He delivers. And it's a long fly ball. Stratus is back. He's back at the warning track. We interrupt the game for an important news alert. A beanstalk has been sighted in Hertfordshire. No more if a beanstalk. They spotted a beanstalk. <laughs> Another beanstalk. And it's in Hertfordshire. The coast is clear. Come back in. The creature has returned to his chamber. Goldie, you never told me how your master got here. Do you know? My master was lured by the promises of the farmer's evil son. He climbed the beanstalk and never returned. Who knew the stalk would wither in a day's time? Overtaken with greed, the problem started for him, and for me. If he'd just taken that first golden egg and gone home to his family, he would have remained the gentle soul he once was. But he stayed, and now it's too late. But Goldie, it's not too late. I got here by climbing a beanstalk, and the stalk is still there. Another beanstalk? There's another beanstalk? Let's all three of us climb down now. No, he'll never return. He said as much. He thinks he'll be unwelcome and believes there are no second chances. But to be safe, we'll lure him down with a clever trick. Who knows? Maybe his return to Earth will restore him and you as well. Who knows is right. But what's your clever trick? I'll pretend to kidnap you, and he'll chase us in pursuit. My master won't chase us. Now that I only lay lead eggs, he has no more interest in me. Okay, that's a problem. Let me think. We need to find a way to make him believe that you can lay golden eggs again.、Uh, do you happen to have any leftover golden eggs lying around? No, only a lead one. It's still in the nest. Hmm.、Uh, let's say we paint it gold. That's a great idea. He painted his entire bedchamber in gold. There should be some left in the closet. Go out the doorway to the right. If we have any, it will be there. Now we've got a plan. Goldie, I'm finding every color but gold. Where is it? I see it. The pail's underneath the ladder. Goldie, there's nothing left. Maybe there's something else back there we can use. Okay, let me look. How about these glasses with gold lenses? I've never seen those before. What do they do? They make everything look gold, but it's a little hard to see. They seem a little dangerous. I don't think they're going to work. <sighs> Jack, are you okay? Jack. <sighs> I don't think they're going to work either. 
so what's our next move? <sighs> Let me think. Wait a minute. Wait just one minute. I have an idea. Gussie gave me a big chocolate egg wrapped in gold foil. I've been saving it for my master's Easter basket. Look in the closet. I think I put it there. It's big. You can't miss it. Jack, we have to get rid of this lead egg. I found it, Goldie. Here it is. Okay, we've planted the bait. Now let's create a commotion and stage the kidnapping. Help! Help! What was that? Did I hear Goldie yelling for help? What's this? A golden egg! She's laying again. But where's Goldie? What's this pile of feathers? Could some intruder have taken her? Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I'll catch that thief of an Englishman. Feel so bold to take my goose, then be prepared to feel my noose. Great gods in heaven, what was that? My goodness gracious, it's Jack. Jack, are you all right? I'm okay. Jack, where have you been? We've been worried sick. Uh, the only thing I remember is climbing that beanstalk. Don't worry, Jack. The important thing is that you're home where you belong. Who is that? Oh, where am I? Oh, boy, does my head hurt. Mm. Olaf, is that you? Is that really you? Your Uncle Olaf? Well, I guess I am. Olaf, where in the dickens have you been? Gertrude, things are a little confusing. I remember climbing a beanstalk, but after that, everything's a blur. Something about eggs and geese and cloudy castles. It all seems like a bad dream that is slowly fading away. But I do remember someone named Goldie. Goldie? I remember Goldie, too. Who's Goldie? She was a friend who believed in second chances. This has been a long day for the both of you, and it's getting late. Regale Jill and me with the adventures that you do remember. Now let's all go in for dinner. Now let's, before we forget our adventures. Come along, Jack. Dinner will be ready shortly. Nurse Dig Delivery Service with a package for Mr. Jack Spriggins. I'm Jack Spriggins. A package for me? Who's it from? It's from Flying Goose Golden Eggs. What's in it? Oh my gosh, it's a golden egg! And there's a note attached. Dear Jack and Uncle Olaf, Everyone gets a second chance. May you make the most of yours. Finally... Goldie. Thank you, Goldie. We surely will. Sir, please come in and share the surprise with the family, and join us for dinner. Thanks. I'd be delighted. What's this? 
A golden egg, mother. It's a golden egg. Do you deliver many golden eggs, sir? Well, in all my 30 years with Nest Egg Delivery Service, I've never delivered a golden egg before. This is the first one. We can do so much now. Buy the farm. Maybe hire some farm hands. And Uncle Olaf can live with us. Yes, Uncle Olaf, please live with us. Forget moving to the city. Oh, I suppose I could get back to farming. I miss this farm and all of you. Maybe we can get Corny back. Yes, how about Corny? I wonder how she's doing.